In this shorty's tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to work and save selections. Hi guys and welcome back to new Photoshop design tutorial. My name is Manny and in today's tutorial I'm going to teach you guys again another shorties technique here from our selections department. Okay, so let's get started right away. First of all, as you guys can see here, I've just got a white layer, then again a shape on top, just a yellow ball, and we've got another font layer here, basically just a text layer with the name shorties. Okay, on top of that, I've also got another shape layer. This is just some glasses. And what I want to show you guys now, sometimes you go into the selection or with a pen tool, you create a certain selection and you're currently working in, say for instance, this selection. Then afterwards you're deleting it again or getting removing the selection and you continue with your design process. And then after 20 minutes, you think, damn, I still need that selection. So how can I go back in the history panel? No, it's already too far in, so it's gone. So I need to create that selection again from scratch, which is pretty irritating and it's a, it wastes your time a little bit. So I want to show you guys a, a quick technique how to get around this. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do is just zoom in a bit closer here and create quickly a unique new selection here just with the pen tool super simple just P on the keyboard and I'm literally just going in the inside here of the glasses and creating a little bit of a unique path here which I'm going to turn into a selection in a moment let me just yeah create something really weird here so this is not the best but anyways okay completing that path and we've got, so say for instance, this is going to be our new selection. So literally, I'm going to hit right click, say make a selection. Please also zero feathering. I don't want any featherness here on the sides. Okay, and we've got our selection. Great. So this is now where I most probably would work in this side of this selection or maybe on the outside or do something certain with this. So again, what I'm going to do now before I keep on working in this, I'm going to move over to the marking tool, hit right click inside of my selection and go all the way down here to save selection. Now in here it's going to ask me where do you want to save it with the document PSD, so basically the shorties. Yes, I do want to save that. Do you want to save it as a new channel, which also helps sometimes if you need to work in your channels uh, to turn it off, turn it on, change color, etc. So I'm just going to say new channel, yes, and I'm going to say gloss here maybe. So I know that's just for uh, my selection. So again, I'm going to hit OK, new channel, and that's it. So basically it's saved now to the selection in the background. Now I can go inside here. I'm just quickly showing you guys the effect. Maybe just taking the brush quickly, a white foreground color, 100% opacity, and I'm just doing a rough brushing in here, right? So kind of a shady thing. I'm going to press Command D. I'm working on a Mac, so if you're a Windows user, please press Control when I say Command. So I'm going to press Command D, get out of the selection. And as you guys can see, this is what the effect maybe looks like now. I keep on designing and 20 minutes later in, I think, well, this looks pretty weird. So I don't want to have this anymore. So I maybe want to have a better shape in here or something. So how can I do this? Must I go back in and create again a new selection? No, I literally just go back to the marking tool on the left hand side. Select the marking tool, hit right click and say here, load selection. Then under load selection, again, it's going to ask me which document, which channel, and I'm just going to choose over here the glass channel. Great. If I also want to invert that, I can also invert it right away here, but I don't want to do that. I'm simply going to hit OK, and awesome, there's our selection again. So now I can just maybe take the eraser tool again. If I haven't created again another mask or anything, and I can just erase it again and go back inside let's just put that on full opacity okay and maybe for instance now take again the brush but this time a little bit different and we can again work in here and create new shapes or whatever you want to create i'm going to press command d again get out of the selection and zoom out again and there you guys go a super quick technique how you can work with your selections as well i use them quite a lot when i design and yeah, helps me and saves a lot of time as well. Yeah, so that's basically also it for this tutorial here. Thanks again for watching. If you liked this tutorial, don't forget to share it with your buddies. Also hit me up with a thumbs up there. I appreciate all your support. And yeah, see you guys in the next tutorial. Thanks, bye-bye.